PreHQ and today we're going to show you another Chrome extension tutorial using our Chrome extension builder and the bubble plugin that we have. So basically what you can do, you can build Chrome extensions without code using our build and our bubble plugin by just using your bubble app and defining all the workflows and actions and the database things in your bubble application as you're used to it. So what you will need, you'll first of all need the build here that you can get at chrome.nocohq.com. Uh, once you fill out all the information, you will receive a zip file with your um, ready to submit and ready to test build. Um, this build you can first of all also upload here to your extensions. I did it already. This is called demo extension. Obviously yours can have a different name. Um, you can define all of that when you create your build. And we can go ahead and test and actually build our um, uh, Chrome extension now. So what I'm going to want to build today, I want to build um, a simple bookmarking um, app or extension that allows uh, me or the user to create bookmarks of certain pages and either create a bookmark in Chrome itself actually or in the bubble app or the bubble database. Okay, so let's keep things really simple. So we have our page here called Chrome. This is the one that I defined in my um, in my build as well. I have the small um, snippet here, which will be the actual Chrome extension that will be displayed. Okay, I have 400 by 400 pixels size. Okay, I dragged my Chrome extension A plugin here onto this page. You can just put that anywhere you want. And I'm actually going to change the design a bit. So I'm going to maybe have a, have it a uh, flat color. Um, yeah, let's use purple maybe today. Okay. And let's say our app is called, I don't know, bookmarkly. Um, I know not the best name, but let's just stay with that. Okay, so bookmarkly lets you create bookmarks using this Chrome extension. So really, really simple, but just showing you the general um, functionality. Okay. All right. So, so what we basically want to have, we want to simply have um, a button here. Okay. And this button will say, um, add current URL to bookmarks. Okay. And or current tab, let's say current tab to bookmarks. All right, let's change the style a bit to make it look nice. That's obviously important as well, um, like this. Let's add a border in white. Okay, that should be nice, perfect. So let's have that here. And let's also have beneath that, let's have maybe um, my recent bookmarks. All right, again, center that. And beneath this, let's have a repeating group. Okay. First of all, actually, we have to create a new data type called bookmark. Okay. And a bookmark will just consist of a URL. So let's keep things really simple. Okay. Um, and let's say, all right, we have a repeating group beneath that. And this repeating group will just do have a type of content bookmark. It will be do a search for bookmarks. Okay. I'm just doing this generally now. You would probably do a constraint where the you, the owner of this bookmark is the current login user. We're just going to skip, skip that because I'm the only one using this application for now. Um, so let's maybe, yeah, let's re remove the separato here. Let's actually just have, let's have four rows and they're fixed. Okay. Because we don't want to have more than four because it will stretch the Chrome extension. So fixed number of cells four. And let's just have our URL always displayed here. Okay. Let's center that vertically. And this is just in white. And yeah, let's maybe just leave it like it is. Okay. I'm just going to have the current sales bookmark URL displayed here. Okay. So what we can also do, we can add an arrow maybe. So I'm going to add an arrow here on the side. Um, I think arrow right. That was the code. Yep. That looks quite nice. Let's actually add a space. Okay, so the UI is okay now. I can work with that. And now let's go ahead to the functionality. And it's actually really, really simple. Once you installed here our plugin, um, you can use all of these actions just the way you would usually do in, in using plugins. So let's start off this button first. So we want to say, okay, when this is pressed, we want to get the current URL of a Chrome extension. Okay. We want to create a new thing. We want to create a new bookmark. Okay. And we want to set the URL of the Chrome extensions uh, current URL. Okay. And we also want to 
actually create a real bookmark, which is a Chrome ex a Google Chrome bookmark. So create a new bookmark um, for a title. Well, we could use a custom title. Let's just keep it static. So demo bookmark, okay. And the URL will also be uh, the Chrome extension ACE current URL. And then last but not least, we wanna show an alert. And we could show an alert just within the Chrome extension, but I think it would be nice to show an alert in the browser, okay? And we're gonna use the, the action show alert Chrome extension A and the value will be added, okay? Awesome. And then let's also add the functionality here. We wanna say, all right, when one of these texts here is clicked, okay, I wanna navigate to this URL. And now, don't forget, we're building our Chrome extension here. If you would just use navigate, go to page, the, the URL would just open within the actual extension and not within a new tab in the browser. So what we, we need, we need an element action, which is um, open tab. And the URL again is the current sales bookmark URL. And to be honest, we're good to go. This took less than five minutes probably. And we have a functioning, um, yeah, bookmarking app. Let's also just go ahead to your database to just actually create a new bookmark ourselves. So let's create one for, I don't know, google.com. Okay, let's click save. And let's actually go ahead and uh, take a look at our extension. So I'm gonna go to chrome.nokh.com. You can see the URL here now. And what I'm gonna do, I'm simply gonna open my Chrome extension, which is the, where is it? Demo extension, okay. The bubble app we built will now be displayed, embedded, and you can already see, all right, so our first bookmark is shown here, google.com. So let's try this functionality. I'm gonna click there and let's see what happens. Okay, all right. We were brought to google.com. However, we didn't define the, product, uh, define the protocol. That's really important. So let's actually add that. Otherwise, this won't work. So HTTPS, okay. Let's try that again. So I'll open the demo extension and let's click on google.com and now works fine. We're directly headed to google.com and a new tab is actually created within our browser. Okay, so let's now try creating a new bookmark. I'm gonna click on the demo extension again and let's add the current tab to our bookmark. So it says added as you can see, um, works fine. I'm not quite sure why there are two errors here now, but um, you can see, all right, so there's an error here, chrome.nokohq, this bookmark, um, my recent bookmarks and now let's try again and open this and now we're brought to the chrome.nokh.com site. If I take a look at my bookmarks now, you can see other, uh, under other book, bookmarks, I have my demo bookmark, should be here, yeah, other bookmarks, we have the uh, demo bookmark which I created a few times now to test um, and it's also saved actually here within the Chrome extension or the, not the Chrome extension, Google Chrome's bookmarks and we can open it again. So. A really simple uh, Chrome extension allows you to create bookmarks both within Bubble and within your actual browser and then open these bookmarks again, uh, which will open the URL in a new tab in your browser. So really simple, but shows you what you can do with the plugin, with the build, um, and you probably have uh, more sophisticated ideas for building Chrome extensions. So thank you for watching and see you guys for the next tutorial. Bye.